Oh, hello. Hello, sir. I got this from Miss Galvin. A long, long time ago. Okay. She was younger than me back then. She looked so happy, holding her mother's hand. Uh, Here. I'll give it to you. Okay. Thank you. Um. Do I use this for something? Take the shabby doll. An old doll given by the man sitting on the apartment stairway. Um. Thank you. She was so young then. So happy with life. Okay. Bye. Just Oh. Holding on to her mother's hand. Okay, mothers are a thing for you, isn't it? You've got mommy issues. Okay, bye. Those are never a good thing to have. Uh, oh, there's a hole down there. Um, I want to go at the first floor. Because, first of all, I normally like to investigate things. Like, first floor and then upwards. Our attendants, lockers, their numbers 101 through 304. Okay, so. Use the locker 106 key. I love you, Rachel. Mike. It's filled with love letters from Mike to Rachel. Okay. What the fuck did I need to know that for? Oh, look at all these dogs. Anyway, um. I don't know what I need that doll for, but. Whatever. I'll just go put it in the fucking thing because I have no idea. I don't know. And awake again. Okay. I'm gonna go put the doll away. We got anything else to look at while we're here? Nope. Okay, so we're putting the doll away. Um. Ooh, that's creepy as fuck. I'm gonna take that because ghosts have been a problem for me lately. <laughs> ghosts have been a problem for me lately. <laughs> you too, get us a medallion. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. Um, I shall go in here again, and then we will go to the superintendent's room. I'm gonna guess I just need to get the key to Eileen's room and then we're finished. Which is weird. But then... These aren't actually that long. I get the feeling that when I have to come back, it's gonna be fun. Arduous as fuck. Shut tight and won't open at all. Great. Okay. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, dogs. It's locked. Fuck you. Come at me, bro. Holy fuck, that wind up, though. Fucking took forever. Okay, room 103. Wait, what was that? Wait, what the? F you are kidding me. Come here. Come here. We gotta put you down, boy. Get a little shit. Anyway. This was the wrong way. <laughs> I know things. Uh, so where was the superintendent's room? Is it this way? Where, where 105 at? Uh, must be this way. Superintendent's room. Use the superintendent's key. 
Door is shut tight, okay. Um, what's in here? What do you see? Oh, there's a diary. The red box seems even stranger today. It's giving off a terrible smell, it's disgusting. But I just can't throw it away. It must have been around 30 years ago that young couple was living in the apartment, but one day they just suddenly disappeared. Ran off just like thieves in the night. I don't know why. It must have been money troubles or maybe they got themselves into some kind of danger? The problem came after that. They left their newborn baby when they took off. I even found the umbilical cord. I called the ambulance right away and I heard the baby survived, but I don't know what happened to him. Although a few years later, I often saw the young, a young kid hanging around this apartment. The apartment. One day he just stopped coming by. But now I think of it, I'll bet he was the abandoned baby. It's a horrible story abandoning a newborn baby. That's all, That all happened in room 302. And the umbilical cord I found there, well, I still can't get myself to throw it away. Ew! Oh, you rank motherfucker. That is fucking gross. Where is it? Where the umbilical cord at? <laughs> the red box. Man, this thing really stinks. It's practically bringing tears to my eyes. Oh, you dirty motherfucker. It's a red piece of paper. Take the red piece of paper. Yes, I will take the red piece of paper. Nothing's written on it. Another bit of red piece of paper. Or red piece of paper. Easily scribbled memo. Found by Nurse Rachel. Return it to 302. Put to get together with the part. The boyfriend, Mike, tore it off. Okay. Keys. Take the apartment keys. Fuck! Now I'm overcumbered. Um. Okay, let's go and... What the fuck is that? Nope, I ain't gonna ask. Uh, let's go put these memos, like, underneath the door, and then come back and go into Rachel's apartment, because I'm assuming that's where the other part of that torn memo was. Okay. Oh, he's gone. Walter's gone. I'm assuming it's Walter. Okay, so we got that one. Torn piece. And that one. Red piece of paper. Okay. How fucking weird would it be to actually do this to your own apartment? <laughs> Then again, <laughs> that is not the weirdest thing about this fucking game. <laughs> Let us be honest. Okay, um... I want to go to Rachel's apartment, which is 106. We know this because of the locker key. I also imagine that I can get into Eileen's room, I, uh, Eileen's room now, so I'll do that in a minute. Oh, what is that? I don't even want to know. Use the apartment keys. If there's a ghost in here, I swear to god. Okay. Where is it, Rachel? Where did you hide it? Ooh, look at this place. It's like art deco and shit. Oh, hello. What's this? It says my darling's number. And there are some phone numbers that look... And there are some numbers that look like a phone number. Just these numbers. Okay. Phone. There's a phone ringing somewhere. Okay. Horrible medical kit. Sure. It's a nurse's uniform. Name says Rachel on it. I think there's a phone ringing somewhere. <laughs> no. I can't even... Because it's so low, the audio, I can't hear it. So I'm gonna run into all these apartments. Oh, shit, there's a ghost. And the shit ton of subwoofers? This looks like safes to me for some reason. 
there was nothing in here. I came in here for nothing. And now I shall leave with nothing. <laughs> Fucking ghosts everywhere. Um, I can't hear it. Uh, fuck you. Con 